Hey guys, so I'm making a different kind of video today. So this is um, a wreck this journal. And this is in the original cover. It was this color. And it's by Carrie Smith, I believe, yes. And basically the concept of it, for anybody that doesn't know, each page uh, has an instruction and you're supposed to follow it. And usually that instruction entails somehow wrecking the journal. So for example, one instruction is uh, glue random items here. Um, and you just glue random items there. Or another instruction is hang the journal in a public place, invite people to draw here. But uh, the person who created this, it's uh, I didn't make it, it didn't really follow it. It's kind of more like an artsy thing and drawing. Um, or loosely following the instructions or following the instructions in a way that wasn't in that, not the way they were intended to. So I'm going to try and do a quick flip through of it. It is completed. Um, this person took exactly a year to complete uh, this journal. And it is quite long, so I'm going to try and not <laughs> talk too much while I flip through it. So one of the instructions, I believe, was to um, cover the, the cover page with something other than what it was. So the person drew a uh, galaxy, I think, using acrylic acrylic inks, not inks, acrylic paints, um, and just made this really cool effect. This part was part of the, the book. And then we have the first page here. I think this is watercolor. And then you just start and then here are where the instructions, the, like the instructions of the page. So I, I'll read them those to you so you can kind of get a better understanding of how the book works. So uh, carry this with you everywhere you go. Two, follow the instructions on every page. Three, order is not important. Four, instructions are open to interpretation. Experiment. Work against your better judgment. So decorated page here some uh, suggested materials. And then here is, uh, it tells you to number all the pages. And then also the person drew a couple of numbers here. Um, crack the spine, leave this paint blank, uh, stand here. This is, I believe, just acrylic uh, paint. Uh, pour, spill, dip, fling your coffee here. Um, and the person made like some coffee stains using some watercolor and potentially using a washi tape. No, maybe not. That's something I do. Okay. Um, this is poking holes and they are poked holes, but there's also donuts surrounding the holes. Um, this is just draw fat lines and thin. And then here, this page is for hand prints or fingerprints. And that is how these balloons were made here with fingerprints. Color this entire page. Throw something. Here's like a pressed leaves and stuff added, um, attached with a bit of washi tape from, I think that's from Hobby Lobby. And then I think keys were used to scratch this page here. And, um, these were some rubbing. So we have euros on here. We have a. <laughs> um, so we have a Christmas tradition here in Cyprus where a New Year's Eve tradition actually, uh, where we have this cake and inside it you stick a coin, and then you cut the the cake in order from um, oldest to the youngest member of the family, and then whoever piece has that coin in it is supposedly the lucky person for the for the year and there's um, that coin traced here as well because if you buy from a store they usually just use like a brand coin or something so we got a couple of those because we have some Cyprus Cypriot pounds from before we got the euro here so we got the year in 2008 so that is 
probably really old coin from somewhere. So that's a cool little history lesson. And then here are some wildly scribbled lines. This one was supposed to rip it up. And then it's kind of like those things you see on um, Facebook where you're like, if you could only choose one, what would it be? So this is the kind of concept here. And it's attached to the next page as well because it says glue these pages together. So that worked out good. So these are drawing lines well in motion. This cool little bubble. I don't know what the instruction was here. Oh, here it is. Fill the page with circles. So, yeah. And here, document your dinner. And it's just a bunch of uh, printouts on some printer paper of uh, favorite snacks. Uh, mostly not healthy ones. Well, all of them are not healthy ones, but yeah. Chew on this. And here's make a funnel. So, and crumble. So, um, you tear it out, you crumble it, and then you attach it back on with washi, apparently. I wrap something with this page. Tongue painting, eat some colorful candy, lick the page. This one is write one word over and over. Tie a string to the spine of the book and swing it widely, let it hit the wall. So here's like a chandelier kind of look. Pick up the journal without using your hands. Climb up high and drop the journal. So we have like Rapunzel's tunnel, a uh, tunnel tower here with her hair that connects to the next page. Or maybe not. Doesn't connect to the next page. And here is a really ugly drawing, apparently. So, not so ugly if you ask me. And here's just like gum and like a geometric pattern and an envelope here. Um, this is a paper chain using washi tape. All of those are from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then this one is the only one that's not completely finished because she, the person is trying to collect a bunch of um, food stamps. So here we have apples. I think these are mostly apples. And then we have some uh, watermelon and like bread and stuff um, and lollipops so there's that or actually no bread is not because it's all our fruit here so um, yeah this this kind of looked like um yeah it's not it's not bread these are um, like from a fruit place anyway and then here office supplies and a bunch of paper clips and staples along the edge and then this page was brought into the shower. And then we have a, oh, that's a gorgeous picture. Um, tie string to the journal, go for a walk, drag it. So that, the, the journal is taking a walk here in this gorgeous forest. And then, oh, look, there's, what, what's this guy's name? Oh, I forgot. I don't remember. It's from um, Elmo, Sesame Street. So, yeah, so that's why they rub with dirt. So there's this guy and like the flies and stuff. And then this is a test page for pens and stuff. And I think these are actually, though, no, these are lyrics from a bunch of different songs. And, and, and. These are all pens that are. I know what pen these are. Are these the Tombow brush pens? Yeah, these are the Tombow brush pens. Uh, so yeah, and then this is just a splatter with watercolors. More washi tape here. I think it's just to hold the. It's to hold the uh, book from falling apart. And sewing this page with the buttons here and the spool of thread. This one, I was informed that the person was too bored to think of anything, so they. Follow the instructions and just glued a piece of newspaper. I don't know why it's in English, but anyway. And then this one is grocery list, so there's healthy and delicious. 
and here is a stamps of all your mail I had um, these stickers that I had left over that I wasn't going to use so I gave them to the person and where they were glued on here and also there's a nice little map over here then these are traced things from stuff and then this page is supposed to have white things and it's a really cool texture it's just a bunch of um, cotton stuck on there and then here is scribble widely using only borrowed pens so this person got pens from various different people in the uh, family and stuff or maybe friends I don't know and just scribble stuff and put them in these frames and then make a sudden destructive unpredictable movement with the journal and it's just kind of ripped here and then make a mess and clean it up so uh, there's a bunch of punched uh, punch punch outs from cardstock that are kind of in a mess and then they're in a beautiful line I think this is actually kind of cool okay and this is where you're supposed to do all over the cover so and the title page which is this one and the instructions and the copyright no that's the copyright and these are the instructions and then fold down the favorite corners of the favorite pages I don't think that was did that happen no I don't think that happened it did happen okay anyway a uh, page of good thoughts it's a bunch of um, quotes here and this was used with a potato and just kind of stamped I think it's acrylic paint ask a friend to do something destructive Write carelessly now, and carelessly now is repeated with different fonts and stuff. And then here's just random things glued down. Here's like yeah, elastics, a cinema ticket, like a um, packaging to uh, candy. I have no idea. Is this fabric? I don't know what this is. I think it's fabric, but I, it's like an elastic. But I don't know. Anyway, these are tickets. I, I've never seen these tickets in my life. I don't know where they came from. Okay, then we have a couple pages that were torn here. Oh, okay. I guess this page was torn. I don't know what happened here. Oh, cut through several layers. So that is what happened here. Here's like a perfume bottle. Um, color outside the lines. This is the put it. No, wait. Okay. Connect the dots. Uh, public place and then this is like um, a bulletin board with a bunch of like um, announcements like a lost dog um, a house for rent department for sale staff uh, and things like that and then trace your hand this I think it's just this is just watercolor no it looks like it has some dimension to it so I don't know Oh, it's glue. She used um, glue. So this white stuff here is glue. And then it dried. And then you add, she just added a bunch of paint on top. Because it acted like a resist. And then here's various substances. So this is nail polish, lipstick, uh, Play-Doh, which is completely dried out. And lip gloss, apparently. No, these are watercolors. This is probably the lip gloss. And I just touched it. Now it's all over my hands. So, yeah. Here's a boring event in detail. No idea what it's about. Then here is to create a drawing using a piece of, um, piece or several pieces of your hair. And this line up here is actually a piece of hair. Here's a, another kind of rainbow. This is this is the um, character from what is that movie called? It's a Disney movie. I don't remember where they're like a happy and angry and stuff. So there's that. That's a character. That's the angry character. This is wearing the journal. Space for negative comments, so there's a bunch of um, words here that are negative. It's just a bunch of different fonts, black and white. I really like this pattern. Okay, that. Uh, 
There's a collage of amazings. So here's one give away your favorite page, and there's the word no repeated over and over. Uh, right backward. Okay, that took me a, a bit of time too. <laughs> yeah. Here's a time passing with this clock from Beauty and the Beast. I don't remember the name of that guy. Here's another internal monologue writing thing. Uh, scrubbing this page. Sleep with the journal. And there's a green catcher here. And then close the journal, write something on the edges, and a person painted it with purple. It looked a lot better before it was made because it was all lined up and stuff. And here is a Candia page, and then these are Tombow Dual brush pens, and there they're just the colors. Um, this one is Doodle Over the Top. Some feathers, the word W, and this is where the person used a bunch of my um, uh, thickers that were uh, gonna go in the garbage and were like very close to being done. So, there. these are from Amy Tangerine, these are basic gray, these are fancy pants, and then these I think are Memento, I think. Yeah, some butterflies. Page that's floating. A freezing page. Neighbor's yard. This is rolling down the hill. And then this is a bunch of coins. Um, this is a really heavy page. And these are coins, these are euros, and there's only the one, two, and five cents on here. So it's not really a value. It's not a lot of value. Alright, I don't know if these are supposed to be stuck together. Yeah, they're probably supposed to be stuck together so you can hold them. And then, <laughs> yeah, here's, uh, these are just watercolors and liquid and a lot of washi tape on here. All of these are from Hobby Lobby. No, I think this green one here is from Tiger. And that is the whole journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed. There, I think there's a ton of ways you could interpret this for um, scrapbooking, but I just don't have the time to do that. I think it would be really cool, but I I, I know if I started, I'm not gonna finish it. So I'm not planning on doing that anytime soon. So there's that. Uh, maybe you have a reckless journal and were inspired by some of this, or maybe not. Maybe you just enjoyed watching it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.